Hey everyone, it's Tyler from Zephyr Epic here, and today we are taking our first look at the brand new 2023-24 Upper Deck Series 1 Hockey Hobby Boxes. That is right, we are doing two boxes of it instead of our usual one per every release, just because it is a pretty big change to Upper Deck's kind of flagship product and felt like it was worth going over and I'm just super excited for the product in general. There's some really good Easter egg content that you want to pull, including a Connor Bedard short print insert, which I mean, he wasn't on the checklist. So everyone was kind of expecting him to be out, but Upper Deck always is known for their Easter eggs that they can sneak into series one and series two. So, hey, short print Bedard insert. We'll see if we can hit that. But yeah, two boxes today to kind of go over all the different product format changes. And I am very very excited for it. I, I'm a big fan of the changes, personally speaking. Uh, you get six Young Gun cards still per hobby box for Canvas. I like the base parallels that they've added. Uh, there's more numbered parallels added as well, which uh, there's some pros and cons too. We'll talk about that through the video. But yeah, per box, you get the six Young Guns, four Canvas, one base outburst silver, which is kind of that foil base card. Uh, one additional parallel from a clear cut black and white or a canvas black and white or a 200 by 85 gold, uh, two 200 by 85 inserts, one Dazzler blue, uh, eight inserts from the debut dates, rookie retrospectives, stat box fillers, and or teacher's pet subsets, six additional inserts from the honor roll and or UD portrait sets, and the portraits look pretty cool this year. A little bit cheesy, but I like the look of them. And six additional inserts from the special edition stat surge and or star zone sets, along with one wild card, which includes all rare ratioed and numbered cards. So yeah, that is a mouthful to say the least. Let's get into box one and let's talk through the changes as well as the young gun crop. So I know there's, I mean, there's no Connor Bedard young gun in it, but there's that short print insert again, the SP1. Uh, in years past when they've released the SP1 insert, I know in 2018-19 it was Rasmus Dahlin, and that was um, one in about 12,000 hobby packs, and then they did Jack Hughes and Lafreniere for the next couple of seasons. Uh, they were both one in 12,960 packs, and again, I don't know if I mentioned it, but it's now 12 packs instead of 24. You get more cards per pack. Uh, less packs per box, overall less cards, but it's just less base cards. You actually get more inserts and stuff per box, which is what I think matters, at least from my perspective. Um, I'm okay with sacrificing base cards for more inserts because base cards just take up a lot of space as someone who has a giant stack of base cards behind them. So yeah, uh, the short print odds, I don't know what they'll end up being. I'm guessing there's gonna be a lot more people ripping series one just based off of the chance to get that Bedard insert now. Uh, I'm glad Upper Deck put that in, but here we go. Back of the base cards looks very similar to last year's kind of design, but still standard series one. And the front looks very similar. So it, they kind of go on two year cycles where they look a little bit similar depending on the year. So there's a LeBanc base card. Again, we'll look at the back pretty pretty standard you got your general information your kind of last five seasons your overall stats stuff like that uh alexander carrier who got walked well not walked by mcdavid but kind of just missed a puck pickup last night and mcdavid scored that nice spinorama goal uh i think it's kind of like three and then yeah so here we go box one box one there's a cider there's a flurry swayman carrier crabs i love the goat head jerseys Marcia So, Mrazic. Our first insert is a deluxe. Well, our first, I guess, parallel is a deluxe. Numbered one of 250. So this is a new numbered parallel for this year of Connor Garland for the Canucks. Whether or not he'll be on the Canucks in a little bit to be determined. But it's got the deluxe has a kind of blue foil away from the gold that uh, Exclusives has. So they added deluxe in. And in terms of other base parallels, there's the Outburst Silvers, which are kind of like the foil star base background. We'll see them eventually. And then um, you've got the Outburst Reds, which are to 25, and the Outburst Golds, which are the first ever one of one Young Guns. Uh, we have a special edition of Sebastian Ajo. These are nice. And a regular Young Guns of Afeniseev for the Predators. So not a bad start. I like, I mean, I like Garland as a player. I think he's Lives up to his contract. A uh, little bit of a soft corner on that guy. A little bit. One thing that has kind of come to a point on some of these is that there's been a little bit of roller issues at the top. So um, 
I think we're kind of okay on the other young gun, but yeah, there's your kind of young gun design. Very typical. I wish the foil, my one thing is that I wish the foil stood out just a little bit more, but yeah, overall looks pretty solid. It's, it's a young gun. Uh, if you like a spacey theme, you're going to like this. But yeah, in the right lighting, it looks good. I just, I want a little bit more pop from that foil, personally speaking. So, yeah, three inserts per pack. Going to kind of be a little bit quicker to go through from a breaking standpoint. I think we got a canvas in here. Should be here. There we go. Honestly, I think it's just going to be easier to go straight through them. There's a Seth Jarvis, Juracek, Dennis Malgan, Jake DeBrusque, Bear Benoff, Fabry, and a debut date of Vincent Iorio with a portrait. So yeah, these are these are super cheesy, but I kind of like them of uh, Thomas Hurdle. So they got. Um, yeah, they're just generic on the back. I actually wish because it looks like they have like an artist in the bottom. I kind of wish they had who the artist was, but I do wonder if they'll have sketch cards as like an Easter egg insert as well. And our first canvas, Mackenzie Weger. There's our canvas of Mackenzie Weger. Kind of got that blue finish to it. So yeah, I'm just going to take this box down from the background because it's shining light and probably don't want that in your eyeballs. All right, next pack. Yeah, in terms of young guns that you want to get from this, the crop's actually fairly solid without Bedar. You've got Devin Levi, who is the goalie for the Buffalo Sabres. Probably would be my, he is my top pick for young gun in terms of like absolute top end potential. But I think Matthew Nyes is probably your safest top end bet for the Leafs. Um, I think he's got legit top, like first line top three on his team potential. Dustin Wolf is another good goalie, but he's stuck behind Markstrom. Um, lots of good players in this. Luke Hughes is another one. I'm not as high on him as other people, but star search of Kuzmenko wow, with Horvat on that. that. That looks weird to me. Sorry. As a Canucks fan, not, not used to that yet. Kuzmenko on the star search, the teacher's pet with the report card of, uh, Miko Rantanen and kind of like a cheesier insert, but I don't mind it. A little bit of foiling around the edge and there's Levi right there. That's one of the young guns you want to see. The top little bit is, uh, I think it's okay. I think it's okay. It's not, it's got a little bit of chipping on it. If you're like, it will not grade out as a 10. I can tell you that it's got like a little bit of chipping in the top. Um, it was pointed out by a few people on Twitter that it was an issue in their cases. So just something to keep an eye on. But overall, this is actually pretty good condition. So. Pretty happy with that. Again, one of the top young guns to get. And I got the stands ready just in case because I love pulling young guns. They're my my bread and butter for collecting. So <laughs> always, 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 always a enjoyable time for me. All right. But yeah, I'm excited to see what other Easter eggs they have inside here. I think do we have our silver here maybe. Yeah, there's been kind of some wild cases that I've seen so far. Cider for the Red Wings. We have a clear cut of Shane Pinto. Shane Pinto on the clear cut. And Henry Theron on the Young Guns. Um, there's been some cases that have had like a good Young Guns exclusives. The Population Count 1, which is a one of one. And the Population Count 10 in them, so... Feels like you can get some pretty good high roll cases. I'll be curious to see what the print runs are on the product overall. Probably try and do some math for that. There's a Luke Hughes debut dates. One of the young ends that you're definitely looking for. Honor roll superstar of Mr. McDavid. Uh, not numbered. That's just the base one. Uh, not my favorite insert, but you know, your mileage may vary. You might like that design. I just wish it was like the white on the side with the blue just doesn't seem to pop for me. And then the Gensel on that. This card had it. No, it was just the way it was lined up on that. Okay, cool. Sheldon Drees, Jacob Middleton, Yusuf Parsonen, and Tyler Sagan. So, so far, Henry Thrun's not a bad pick. Not a bad young man to get either. Um, he's going to get lots of playing time in San Jose just because they don't have defensemen. And he's probably their best one. So, special edition of Jack Eichel. The Brady Kachuk on the stat box fillers. Oh, that's kind of cool. It shows like their last five games and 
stuff like that. That's cool. That is cool. Owen Beck on the Young Gun for the Habs. Another solid one to get. Solid, solid, solid. Yeah, the Young Gun crop's pretty solid. I think I have 17 players rated B- minus or higher, which are like B- minus is, I think, low-end top six potential for me. Um, kind of for forwards, for defensemen, that's like top pairing guys. So uh, pretty solid crop considering what Series 2 could potentially be. So looking forward to both doing this and then the other one as well. So here's a 200 by 85. They kind of, ooh, ooh, okay. I like that. You uh, get the Stamkos on the front and then on the back. There's also a different Stamkos as well. Pretty cool. Highlights their two-way play. That's a cool insert. Uh, Kachuk on the Superstar honor roll and Sam Gerrard on the canvas. What else has changed from last year to this year? There's no more French Young Guns. The Outburst Silvers kind of just directly replaced the French Young Guns. Um, well, the French Parallels. So if you're wondering where what the relation is there. Ooh, these are cool. Uh, Star Zone. Mark Stone. These kind of look like some sort of metal universe insert, actually. There's been a couple that are just like... Feels like they could be from a more premium set. I like these. I If they have die cuts of these, like rounded corners on the die cuts, the rare parallels, those would be pretty cool to me. Uh, Lofton on the report card. And hey, another good young gun, Marco Casper. Player that I am, again, fairly high on. I think he's got a good floor of like a bottom like at worst he's gonna be a top nine center to me he just plays a physical game he's young he's one of the youngest young guns in the entire crop um put up really good numbers in the swedish hockey league as a 17 and 18 year old or 18 and 19 i forget which ones but either way even as an 18 year old he was doing really well in the swedish hockey league which bodes well for his success in the long run so really 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 solid box here in my opinion uh, Dazzlers of Evander Kane, Rookie Retrospective, uh, Pitor Kuchekov, and a Jack Eichel on the Superstars. Honor roll, no numbered, nothing. So I think the Dazzlers was kind of our special card there. There's a Slavkowski base. Slavkowski, second year card. And before the eBay listings. <laughs> But yeah, lots of fun. Let me know what you think about the set as well, too. Here's a Quinn Hughes 200 by 85. Again, same thing on the back. I like those. Dry set on the Superstar Honor Roll. And Young Gun Canvas of Samuel Bolduc for the Islanders. Guy I have as a, I think a C plus just because there is some offensive upside despite him being a defenseman. So player that's kind of worth keeping an eye on. Probably won't be the best player, but there's a chance he gets some playing time. Base cards in the wrong stack there. So yeah, you get you definitely like definitely noticing a lot more inserts along the way. So already a fan of the format change. Uh, well, he's not on the Canucks anymore. Uh, Pesci Shifley on the Star Zone. Carlson on the. Oh my gosh! What a box! Matthew Knives on the Young Guns. Are you kidding me? What is this crop? Uh, that is, in my opinion, the best, like, the two best young guns in the same box. With, like, Casper being, I mean, Casper's in my top 10 as well. Uh, I would have Casper normally higher, but, and Beck's really good as well. Thrun's good. Afinis Seov's our worst, worst one yet, and he is, like, still got an NHL shot. But, yeah, Nyes and Levi in the same box. Let's go. Let's go. Big start for us. We love to see it. All right. And then, oh, we have another clear cut. Oh, we have a population count. 1,000. So these are, if you're unfamiliar with how they look, God, they look so much better in acetate. Oh, that's, that's just, they're just so much nicer. Uh, if you're wondering how these work, essentially the population count is what they're numbered out of. So 1,000 is 1,000. Uh, 100 is 100. 25 is 25. 10 is 10. 1 is 1. I think there's 500 in there as well, but yeah, they used to be on, they were on paper stock last year, but now they're on actual acetate. They look more like a graded card. Really, really like that design choice. I feel like this is what they should have been to begin with. And so, yeah, really glad to see this. We got something different. I think we got our outburst coming. So 
So we have four cards in this pack. Uh, Will Cooley on the debut dates, Cole Caulfield on the superstars, and yeah, here's our outburst silver. So my first in-person look at one of these, and yeah, I like them. Foil base, finally. Finally, we have foiled Series 1 base in the product. I, I like it. All right, box one, I think that's a huge win. I mean, Levi, Casper, Nyes, Beck, um, Canvas, Deluxe, Population Count 1000, Clear Cut, the run's a good young gun. I Yeah, no complaints here. And I think this crop is going to surprise people a little bit. Uh, the, the box content seems solid. Like, really fun rip. I Yeah, really good product, I think. Um, compared to what Series 1 and Series 2 were the past few years. Uh, no brainer for me for what format I like better. I like getting more inserts. I like getting less fluff. So... Yeah, <laughs> I am. I'm a big fan of this again, and I also get why people don't like the change because it's just less packs overall. So buying a single pack is going to be more expensive. Um, getting, you know, completing your base set, it technically will be a little bit harder to do that as well. But again, if you go to your local card shop, you probably will find someone who's willing to help you out with base cards um, or just ask around at least. So your real box too. Let's see if we can beat box one. It's going to be tough to beat that. So, uh, star zone right off the bat of Carlson with the Pedersen on the box fillers and Tristan Robbins on the young guns. Yeah, really looking forward to this. I think it's going to be a fairly, very, very fun year for hockey cards. Obviously, when you have the dart, it's going to be nuts. Um, but I think the rookie crop in general has got the potential to be one of the best of all time. Hurdle on the 200 by 85. Vasilevsky on the portraits and canvas of Trocek. Yeah, I think it's really got the chance to be one of the best young guns of all time. By the way, I don't know if there are base photo variations. Uh, I think there's Swagnificence. I don't know if there's any other base photo variants yet. So you'll have to kind of go back and look through to see if there are any because it'll take a few days. The best way to tell again is to find the deluxe or any parallel of them. So the outbursts the deluxe, clear cut, anything like that, and compare it to your base card. Because um, if it's different from your actual base card, you have the parallel. All right, we have a Star Surge of Brant Clark. And then a Owen Power. Oh man, I love the goat head jerseys. With a Jackson Stauber on the Young Guns. I will say the photos on the Young Guns of the players seem a little bit more further back than previous years, if that makes sense. Like they're a little bit is a little bit more of a full shot rather than previous years, if that makes sense. Dazzler's coming up. Rantanen with a Bulduk and a Kaprizov. So solid, solid, solid box. Well, box one was solid. Box two, slow start. But given the young guns I got in box one, if box two is not a great crop, I'm fine with it. Obviously, if you just end up with one box, it wouldn't be the best, but... Huh, they've got like the outline for Beneers here. A radish. We have a teacher's pet gold, I believe. This looks like a gold. Where's a regular one? How far back do I have to go? I didn't think it's, yeah, it's gold. Okay, cool. Jonathan Tays. I think they're, I want to say they're like one in what? Um, One in, one in 240, so pretty tough pull on that. Uh, special edition of Kopitar. Again, these also are really nice looking. They kind of have like that old school SP authentic feel. Nikita Nestorenko, more of a wing than a C, but player with a tiny bit of upside. Some of the same base cards as the previous box there, but that's fine. Again, if you're someone who likes to complete the full set, it's gonna be a little bit tougher this year, but yeah. Tins are going to be a lot of fun to open of this. Uh, report cards. Tage Thompson on the teacher's pet. Sorry, not report card. I don't know why I just automatically want to call them report cards. Philip Forsberg. Boom Jenner. So, so far, box one is definitely uh, taking the cake. But again, it's series one, man. All it takes is one good pull. All it takes is one pack. 
I remember we were talking during a break about how one of our boxes was the worst boxes that we've ever opened up. Nelson for the Islanders, by the way, on the star zone. Jack Hughes on the uh, stat box fillers. Clevin on the young guns. I know how we were talking about during one of our breaks. This is like about a couple years ago. Uh, how the box is very underwhelming. And then like one of the worst boxes we've ever opened of 21 or 2020, 2021 series two. And last pack had a Caprizov exclusives young gun. So it was all of a sudden one of our best boxes. 200 by 85 of Hellebuck. The Svechnikov portraits. And Niederreiter on the canvas. All right. On a healthy stack of... You essentially get three times... You get three times the amount of inserts in... Er, sorry, not three times. You get uh, an extra 33%. So you get essentially... An extra third of a box per each box that you get. Um, which, again, I'm a fan of. Special edition of Kaprizov. With a teacher's pet of Huberto and a Luke Hughes young gun. Hey, not bad. Not bad. Fairly good start here. Love to see it. So, I think I had him in my actual tier list. He ended up fourth or fifth in terms of, like, potential. I... I think he's going to be a very good defenseman. I just don't think he's going to be as good as people are expecting him to be. So a little bit less warm on him than other people, but nonetheless still intriguing, intriguing player. Here's our outburst. Looks like just a base, but debut dates of Owen Beck, William Nylander, and Sam Lafferty on the outburst. Well, current Canuck. So there we go. I was about to say future Canuck, but no, he's currently a Canuck. But I guess technically he means he's a future Canuck. Maybe he'll be a future Canuck in a Garland trade. Some rumors swirl in there. Uh, Star Surge of Seth Jarvis. 200 by 85 gold of Kaprizov. So these are a little bit more common. I think they are uh, 200 by 80. Where is X? Eight, five, doot. There's a lot of these on the checklist. Uh, golds are one in 36. So there are blacks to one of ones and reds to 99 as well. And there's also tin parallels that are greens. So Adam Ginning on the young guns. Uh, other things worth mentioning is that there are... Um, in tins, they're actually like exclusive Dazzlers packs. Those don't come out right away. They come out in a few weeks, I believe. So, and by the way, I forgot to mention this, but if you are interested in picking up a box, feel free to check out our site at zephyrapic.com. Uh, there'll be a link in the description below to series one. Uh, we'll have the boxes up there if you're interested in that. So again, super fun product. I think I love the format changes. Hopefully we end on a bit of a big note here, but yeah, uh, Noah Cates, Nazem Kadri, and John Gibson. So a little bit of a quiet last box. But when you consider what box one had, like, can you complain overall through two boxes? I mean, we got Luke Hughes, we got Levi, we got Nyes. There's definitely some boxes that run hot. But Levi and Nyes, if they're in the same crop, I mean, that's just, and Casper as well and Beck, like, that's going to be the box you want to get. That was just a pretty insane box one. Box two, probably a little bit more closer to your average box. Um, look at the stack of inserts we got just from two boxes. That's a lot. It's literally like an extra box of cards at least. Um, usual young guns. Again, I like the 200 by 85s. I love the base outbursts. Those look so cool. I think the young guns and the reds are going to look cool. The one of one gold young guns. Man, those are going to look nice. Just based off these, those are going to pop so much. I will be trying to get just any player's one of one young gun because I think it'd be a cool card to own. And then two numbered hits, technically. We got the Garland in our first pack to 250. Line A to 1000. Again, if you're interested in picking up a box, feel free to check out our site at zephyrepic.com. Link in the description below for that. We have a break live for series one, as well as a couple other, including a premiere and a lure break. So yeah, anyways, thank you so much for watching the video all the way through. Uh, a lot of fun opening it up. And yeah, be sure to check out on our social media as well to follow us. 
can't remember if I'm forgetting anything, but if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like. Feel free to subscribe if you want to see more. We'll cover every single product release with a box opening the day of as best as we can. And then, yeah, other stuff is that I really don't know what else to say. Oh, um, if you want to check out our tier list for Young Guns too, because I forgot to mention that as well, there'll be a link in the description below for that. And I think I covered everything. Yeah, comment if you like the changes. Comment your thoughts on the Young Gun crop. And yeah. Any other comments you have or questions, I'll try and answer them. Anyways, take care. One more look at our top two young guns, because, I mean, hey, these are the two guys that you're trying to pull, in my opinion. Love them. Same box. How can you go wrong? All right, take care, and I will see you in the next video.